This video is sponsored by Raycon. Raycon's everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever. They have optimized gel buds for the perfect in-ear fit, are comfortable, and will not budge. Watch. Wow, look at that, still in there. The gel tips specifically are modified to fit the curvature of the human ear for maximum comfort. They offer eight hours of playtime and a 32 hour battery life. You can get quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands and they have over 50,000 five star reviews. With Raycon's everyday earbuds, you can choose between three sound profiles. Pure sound for perfect clarity, listening to podcasts and audiobooks. Balanced sound for universal all-around performance for a variety of music genres. And bass sound for songs with strong beats. You can also toggle between noise isolation, which blocks all sound noise around you, and awareness mode so you can still listen to what's going on around you. Click the link in the description below, or go to buyraycon.com slash prozd to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Time to try all the McDonald's items. There are, well, I'm not gonna say the count, because every time I say the count, they like take off items or do shit. I don't know how many there's gonna be. However, uh, I will say I'm not doing ice cream items because the ice cream machines never work. I like a McFlurry. McFlurries taste good. Ice cream tastes good. You don't need me to try fucking six ice creams. Just the regular menu items, no breakfast either. Starting off with their most iconic item, the apple slices. Um, it's apple slices in a bag. They're cold, which is nice. Also, there we go. Peeled, as they should be. You know what? B minus, they're apple slice. Then the opposite is the double quarter pounder with cheese. Two patties, um, so it's a half pound, I guess. Ketchup, mustard, onions, pickles. Um, all right, here we go. It's very interesting. I just did the Wendy's thing. So I've been eating all these Wendy's burgers. And a McDonald's burger, Truly, it tastes very different because Wendy's has like kind of like a freshness to the patties. McDonald's has a very fried ketchupy flavor, which I like actually. I love McDonald's, but it's so interesting having not eaten McDonald's in a hot minute how different it is. It's still good. I'm, I mean, it's a good burger. I'm gonna say A plus in that McDonald's way. It's definitely greasy and fried and ketchupy, but I like that. A lot of good meat on there. Uh, it's just got that classic McDonald's flavor and it's big. So I've never had this before. This is a quarter pounder with cheese deluxe, meaning it has, looks like lettuce, tomatoes, uh, onions and pickles as usual, and it looks like mayo along with the ketchup and mustard. It's really sad how sad their vegetables are compared to Wendy's. I keep comparing to Wendy's just because I've had Wendy's so recently, but it's a good solid option. There, I will say, man, their patties are really, Chewy. I don't know if I would order this because I kind of wish I had like more like patties or something with like the Big Mac. I'm gonna say this is like an eight. It's a solid McDonald's burger. I like the actual extra dressings, but it kind of doesn't stand out. And you got nuggies, which my wife did not know apparently that are called McNuggets. I just thought they were called McDonald's chicken nuggets. Uh, McNuggets. Um, <laughs> solid. With sauce, they're great. On their own, still good. A, like, with sauce, I'd say like an A plus, but you know, on their own, just a good solid A. Sophie, you want some Diet Coke, huh? Nothing crazy good, but good solid nuggets. Quarter pounder with cheese and bacon. I don't think I've ever had this either. I usually don't get quarter pounders. Looks like it's the classic quarter pounder just with um, some sad looking bacon, but let's see. It's good. Um, yeah, I mean, classic quarter pounder. The bacon is nice, actually. It's crispy, and some more savory notes to an already pretty savory sandwich. I am noticing just how salty McDonald's burgers are. I'm saying, hey, I, I, I like it. And then, the chocolate chip cookie. Okay. There's something nostalgic about this but it's honestly not that great. This is honestly just an okay cookie. I'd say it's a step above, just cause you know, chocolate chips are a little melty. I'm like, okay, it's a step above like store-bought, but 
Not by that much, to be honest. B, it's harmless. We got the classic big make. Two all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese. Honestly, I love the Big Mac. The tangy sauce with the pickles and the everything, the salty griddle patties, even that bread layer adds a little more, you know, density to it. It's satisfying. Like, it's the sauce that's mainly great though. S tier. Meat quality is shit, but the addictive quality for me makes up for everything. And then, you just got your classic fries. And I gotta say, S tier. This is the, the fry. I like them crispy. I like them mushy. I like them every which way. This is the deluxe crispy chicken sandwich, which it's like, oh, it's pretty good chicken actually. Um, I actually like that one. I've gotten that one. Got tomato, lettuce, mayo. I think that's it. It's that's okay. crispy. Mmm. Mmm. A little plain on the toppings though. Not, not a whole lot. Uh -huh. Kind of feels like more sauce or something. It's interesting because the chicken is really, it's actually pretty juicy. B. Like the chicken itself is quite good. I wish the other stuff was able to make up for that. And then we have the apple pie. I haven't had one of these in a while. Not as crispy as I remember, but still pretty good. Uh, nice crust. The apple's nice and sweet and tangy. B plus. It's still good. Nice solid dessert, <laughs> but um, nothing amazing. All right, this is the spicy crispy chicken, which kind of looks like their version of like a Popeye Chick Fil A fusion. Um, it's got spicy sauce, pickles, and chicken. I think that's it. Let's go. Huh? Decent heat. Pickles are crispy. Chicken's a little dry in this, but it's not bad. It's like a solid B. And the other thing is the hamburger. From like the dollar menu? <laughs> not even the cheeseburger. <laughs> the hamburger. Ooh. It's just a patty. Does that stuff on it? Ketchup, the tiniest bit of ketchup, pickle, a pickle, and a little onion. <laughs> Honestly, I do wish there was cheese, but I mean, I could smash a couple of these. I'm weirdly feeling it. B plus. The fact that it's so cheap, but still pretty addictive, I'm kind of surprised. All right, my wife is cooking in the background, so that's the bubbling over there. And while she's doing that, let's eat McDonald's. Instead of eating what I'm cooking. This is the spicy deluxe crispy chicken sandwich. So this is much better than the spicy chicken sandwich I had the other day. This one's better because the chicken is juicier. So spicy, I like the spicy, but it has like tomatoes and lettuce to give it more like refreshing, you know, contrast. Whereas the other one only had pickles and they got kind of, you know, lost in the sauce. So yeah, this is actually a really nice balance of spicy, juicy chicken, but fresh, well not fresh, it's McDonald's, but you know, at least fresher tasting ingredients like a tomato and a lettuce. I'm really finding that my appreciation for tomatoes and fast food sandwiches is growing because they really add a lot of needed, sometimes, you know, moisture to a dry sandwich and flavor. Even if they're not really good tomatoes, I'm like, them. B plus, pretty good. And then we have the cheeseburger, classic McDonald's cheeseburger. The other day I had the hamburger. You would think one slice of cheese would not change that much about a burger, but it really does give it more, more savory, more dimension, more, even like a creamier texture overall. Plus with that pickly McDonald's goodness. Honestly, I love the McDonald's cheeseburger. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give it an S on the McDonald's. I, I love this thing. It's so, it's so cheap and tasty. No, it isn't mine. You're making tofu. First off is the quarter pounder with cheese as Effie's scratching our couch. Quarter pounder, supposedly patty, pickles, onions, cheese, ketchup. Very salty. Like all their meat is. <laughs> I like it, but in this case, I don't know if bigger patty necessarily means better than like, like the double cheeseburger or cheeseburger because it's so salty. And almost, I almost kind of want like another patty. 
this middle ground is like good, but not amazing. It's like an A minus. Like it's good, but because McDonald's meat is not that good, it's like I need either more or less. But this this much is like not working for me. One that's near and dear to my heart, the fillet of fish. I know a lot of people hate this. I love the fillet of fish. Mmm. Ugh. So good. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> this patty, tartar sauce, cheese. It's all you need. It's so spongy and Ew. somehow sweet, but like, it's just the perfect fake fish sandwich. I love this thing. Some This should be disgusting, and for a lot of you it, it is. It is. It is For me, S tier. I oh, S tier? S tier. I love this thing. Oh. I love the filet of fish and I will not apologize. We have the crispy chicken sandwich. It's got pickles, chicken. I think that's it. Okay. It's not bad, but the chicken is not juicy enough or flavorful enough to justify that there's no sauce on this thing. It's just pickles. I think they like butter the patty, but it's a little dry. This is like a B. And then we have the McDouble. McDouble is two patties, but I believe just one slice of cheese. Okay. I do wish it had that second slice of cheese that the double cheeseburger has, but we'll get, that, get to that later. But it's still fucking good. The double patties are nice. So you got that great pickly ketchup onion flavor and the cheese is great. Still S tier. I love, I love these shitty little hamburgers. Been a while for me since my last McDonald's uh, and technically I'm done, or actually I've done most of the major items, but I'm gonna treat you guys. I'm gonna do some that I know are available to our area, um, but not necessarily nationwide. Maybe you can see some, some stuff you don't usually see on your McDonald's menus. Um, this is the bacon quarter pounder with cheese. Um, it's just the same shit. Or bacon. You know, I like the bacon in there. It doesn't hurt. It, it makes it nice and gives it a little more crispy, a little more richness. It's a little small in the grand scheme of the fast food burgers. I'm feeling it. I forget what I gave the original quarter pounder. Let me give this, I'm feeling like an A plus. It's satisfying. Strawberries and cream pie. Kind of like a nice jam, cream on the other side. Um, kind of wish it was almost like level, like jam and cream instead of like on the sides, but I mean, you can just take two bites. I like it. It's very, uh, it's very rich, creamy, tangy and, and, and sweet. You know what? A minus. I'm feeling generous today. All right, we got some more items that may not be at a McDonald's by you. The first off, uh, I've never had this one. Let's go with this one first. The double hamburger. I mean, I guess we just can't eat the cheese, right? That makes sense. Some people have, you know, lactose intolerance. Pickle and the mustard really cut through because there's not like a cheese. So it's, there's, it's lacking in richness, but you taste more of the, you know, salt of the meat, the condiments and it's substantial enough where it's still pretty good. I like it. I will always get cheese if I can, but um, I think as a non-cheese option, for good. I'd say like a B plus. Here's the triple cheeseburger, which is just, it's a beast. I gotta say though, that hits the fucking spot. So much cheese means there's a real creaminess throughout, rich. It gives it a nice kind of just creamy vibe in a good way. One might argue too much, but I gotta say it's pretty tasty. It's not the perfect balance of this type of burger because it might be a little bit too much cheese, but still really delicious. You know, let's just let's just say S. It, it's, it's good. Who am I kidding? I, I, I'm not gonna say no to a triple cheeseburger. First up, we have the Bacon McDouble. Just the McDouble with bacon. It's good, but again, very salty, and the bacon makes it saltier. I actually think this throws off the balance for me, but I'll say A, 
Still tasty, too salty. Then we have the hot and spicy McChicken. Mmm, it's a good one here. I don't know if just today is just a good day, but this McChicken is really good. The patty's super crisp. It's got a nice spice. You know, it's got the mayo and shredded lettuce as usual, but I'm surprised about how crispy this patty is. While I acknowledge that not, not every McChicken is this good, this is like S tier. Because it's simple, chicken's crispy. I just like chicken and lettuce and mayo, and I like the heat on it. Double quarter pounder with cheese deluxe. Matt Jay's again. Um, so I don't think I've ever had this. It's everything. It's patties, ketchup, uh, lettuce, onions, pickles. No oh, mayo too. It looks like a fucking Whopper. All right. Imagine a Whopper or any other fast food chain burger, but with the salty McDonald patties. So it's like trying to copy that, but it's pretty good. I like the mayo with it actually. I like the veggies. Um, I'm gonna give this A plus. I'm feeling generous. I think for this, it this is where I want a double quarter pounder. Like if I want it, I want all the fixings. I want everything. Make it like a big, big to do. And I think this is worth it. Final McDonald's day. Start off with a surefire winner here. Double cheeseburger. It's two patties and two slices of cheese. Everything you want, gooey cheese, salty meat, that ketchupy, pickly McDonald's flavor. It's S tier, it's perfect. Perfect size, perfect proportions. Love it. And finally, we have the regular McChicken. Now the other McChicken the other day was really good. Let's see if this one can stack up. You know I like the McChicken? But I'm gonna be brutally honest. It's a little lackluster. The chicken is okay. Crispy, but not juicy. The pepper uh, seasoning on it is barely there compared to the hot and spicy McChicken, which is really flavorful. And it needs more mayo. Whenever I order one of these, I always get extra mayo, but you know, I want to get the default version for fairness. For its price point, like a B plus. I think this is a decent, cheap chicken sandwich for its price. All right, that was the McDonald's video. Uh, honestly, Pretty painless, I love McDonald's. Uh, there weren't that many items in the grand scheme and most of them were good. McDonald's is salty, but I will always enjoy it. I like their burgers a lot for what they are. Their chicken sandwiches are surprisingly pretty good overall. And they, they don't really have a lot of crazy stuff outside of that, so they like focus on what they're good at, which is salty ass, fake meat burgers and Decent chicken sandwiches and, and the fries, of course, are dynamite. Awesome. Well, see you in the next one. Bye.